Harry, the, the injury to Matt looked really, really nasty. Is there a, a, a time, time scale for when you'll be back? If he'll be back Not this really. season? Is it one in, in weeks or is he is he months? Uh, it'd be yeah, he's quite long term, you know. Do you hope to get him back before the end of the season? There's not many games left. Uh, you'd hope to get him back, but it's where we will all be sure, you know. It's, you see him that nasty injury. With all the good news of the players coming in, with with Danny, Charlie, uh, and now Matt, <laughs> the three, three big hammer blows, three players that were starting. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it was all you know, three lads that were sort of, <coughs> you know, Matt was playing. He gives us pace and power, and, you know, he was playing very well. And obviously Charlie, you know, was, was in great form all year. Danny Simpson was never present, never missed a minute of, of one game. So, yeah, they're a big loss, but it's up to the lads now who have come in to, um, or the lads that are here to pick it up and, uh, and get on with it now. I know Junior c came on for Matt, but it's up to him and Sean Wright Phillips to really give you that whip that, that Nico perhaps comes inside a lot more. Yeah. It's, they've got to step up now, haven't they? Yeah, it's up to them. When the opportunity comes, they've got to take it, haven't they? It's like they do that. And is, is, is Aaron, do you think that he can go straight into that right back role that you've been worried about with Danny? Well, he can. I mean, uh, I've got Nedham as well, you know, Nedham played there last week, so it gives me, a, <coughs> gives me some, we've got some cover, we've got some options there now. You know, they can both play centre half if we get a knock there or if we're covered. You know, we were really short of cover. We're not overloaded with defenders. We're, it's an area that we are short in, so um, it's, it's good to have Aaron here. How's Jermaine Jenis? Is he anywhere near match fit? Well, he's training today. He's been out quite a while now, you know. I think mean, not as far as away was his last game. <coughs> so he needs, um, we're going to see how he's the next couple of days and assess his fitness, but he, he'll be involved, you know. It was a perfect d debut for, for Maiga. Um, I don't know whether he was harshly treated because he wasn't in the best of form, but to, to be sent to train, he come to train at QPR before his move, he might have felt a little bit sort of hurt from that. How has, he, how has his character been since he arrived? Good. Yeah, I mean, his confidence should be high. Like Kevin Doyle, you know, Kevin hasn't played at all. Wolves, uh, uh, very rarely, he's not been in the team anyway. And, uh, you know, to come here and score as he did and to turn in such a good performance, he's got to be good for his confidence. And my ego, we're, we're hoping the same with him. You know, it's a new start for him now. You know, hopefully he's going to enjoy his time here and come and score some goals for us. And, Doing the world good, I'm sure. In previous windows, the club have, have bought players maybe at the top of their game, but with Kevin and, and, and Madiba, they're two that really got something to prove and, and want to get their well, nose yeah, back I mean, in the league. That's what we did. We, the window, we just took some loans. Um, we got helped out by other clubs, you know, with the wages and everything. You know, they were, you know, we didn't, um, we needed, we needed some players in because, as I say, we'd lost a, a few key players. So um, they're, they're here now, and I'm sure they're, they're, they're relishing the chance to come and. In the Burnley match, I think you had, you had better possession, more shots, more crosses, but it was their strike partnership that, 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 that undid, undid QPR. Do you think that once you get a, a fully functioning front two that, that's on the same wavelength that, that Ings and Vokes are, that, that, that you'll kick on more with, with in terms of goals? I mean, they're a good pair. Well, you know, they're, they're a good pair. Ings is, uh, is in great form. He's a good, you know, I've, watched it, I've watched a pair of them from their early days at Bournemouth. They both started out together at Bournemouth and they're a real two very good players, Bolts has, has gone on and, uh, and has progressed and improved and has done, done excellent as well. But they are genuinely, they look like they know how to play together, they enjoy playing together. And sometimes you get a relationship like that and you get a pair of strikers that can hit it off, you know, together and they, they certainly are at the moment. When you arrived at the club, it seemed very much a situation of the new guys and the old guys being quite separated and divided, I think you admitted so, so much yourself. Yeah. Now you've got a few little Groups in there, some some of the Man City guys with Dunny and Nedham, and he brought Joey through as well. Some of the Irish players as well, some Fulham players. Is that helping a bit more unity among the, the squad this season? Yeah, we have no problem here now with, with the squad. They're all, uh, you know, they all seem to be going very well. So I think that's important. We've got a group that are together, um, and they're a good group of lads, good to work with, and no problem really.